Hi, folks. Eagles beat reporter Mike K here from NJ Advanced Media, and this is your latest update from the No Huddle Show podcast. The Eagles roster is now set at 90 players, and the majority of the team is working out under the redesigned offseason program guidelines at the Novacare Complex. One notable absence is tight end Zach Ertz, who is seeking a change of scenery. The Eagles can save $4.9 million by trading or cutting Ertz before June. They can save $8.5 million by trading or cutting Ertz after June 1st. New defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon spoke to the media for the first time last week. Gannon said he won't focus on just one scheme as he prefers to match his personnel to his weekly game plans. The Eagles have added quite a few tweeners on defense, so there stands a chance that the Eagles could use a hybrid attack under Gannon. New Eagles defensive end Brian Kerrigan told reporters on Monday that he was convinced to move to Philly by fellow linemen Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox. Kerrigan met with Nick Sirianni, Jonathan Ginn, and defensive line coach Tracy Rocker at the Novacare Complex on a visit. However, it was calls from Graham and Cox that sealed the deal. Falcons wide receiver Julio Jones plans to be elsewhere when the season starts, but don't expect him to land in Philadelphia. Jones has a $15.3 million salary this season, and the Eagles only have $5 million in salary cap space. The 32-year-old wide receiver is still an elite talent, but the Eagles have already invested their last two first-round picks on wide receivers. New on NJ.com. Landon Dickerson was unable to participate in this year's Senior Bowl due to ACL surgery. However, since he's Landon Dickerson, he still took the event by storm without putting on a helmet. Read about Dickerson's unique Senior Bowl experience in the sports section of NJ.com. For all the latest Eagles news, turn to the sports section of NJ.com and download the No Huddle Show podcast wherever podcasts are available.